Hello there, Run Ears, and this is a hard video to make. Um, I thought about adding it to, and I do have some topics for the next video, which should be coming out in a couple of days, but I thought maybe I should add this to that video, and I just didn't see any way I could transition, and you'll understand when I get to the subject matter of this video, guys. So I said, I, this has got to be a standalone. Uh, so I'm just going to get to it. I got a couple of things I'll say before I get to the uh, the news. So the first thing is, um, anybody who has done Run Disney knows how fabulous it is. And it's the stories, guys. It's the stories of overcoming uh, tragedy sometimes. And so I love it, love it, love it. And, and I was just lucky enough to do Dopey to Dumbo. And I and I love Riley uh, Claremont. I, I, I After years of doing this, I just appreciate his insight. And the way he actually brings out the stories to encourage people and to, to shed light on some things that uh, people are doing to overcome um, tragedies in their life, you know. So uh, that's one thing I really, really love and respect about Run Disney. And I thank Riley. I did reach out to him saying, man, you know, you appreciate with, with what you do. Riley Claremont, one of the announcers there, I, I think he does a great job. I'm going to add to this story by saying just about a year ago, a year ago, I remember I was watching some videos and I had never, I had actually uh, seen the balloon ladies, but I had never really interacted with them. But I saw a video of a regular Disney video blogger who actually came out and said he tried to do the 10K, he didn't make it. Uh, most of the video was kind of a little bit negative on the negative side and and basically, he didn't say anything really bad, but it wasn't really anything good. And so I said, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna run with the balloon ladies. And so a year, uh, so last year I did the 10K, and I started and stayed with the 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 princess 10K, and I started and stayed with the balloon ladies the whole time. Up until this point, I really hadn't uh, gotten to know them. So I walked up to them, I talked to them. Uh, they they welcomed me with open arms. I said, I'm going to record if that's, if that's okay. They said, yes, they were awesome to be around. You know, when you read about them and those of you who had not interacted with them, you know, they, they seem like this dark cloud in a way, you know, the ones you avoid and stuff. And when I was with them, I saw them more as a beacon of hope because they were very, very positive towards everybody. Uh, they tried their hardest to encourage people uh, they were doing their jobs. It's a balance of doing their job, which is to keep that 16-minute pace at the very end of the run. They're the last ones to start, guys. But uh, they they do a great job of encouraging people. A lot of people, I feel, would not even finish if it wasn't for them and their encouraging words. I know I've read that online. But again, I wanted to shed a light on how positive uh, my interactions have been with them and they have been with them throughout you know this past year so now I'm gonna go back to this past week I'm gonna come around full circle where and if you guys haven't seen on social media Heather one of the balloon ladies uh, her son Taylor who's 27 years young collapsed and was unconscious and so uh, apparently he has not regained consciousness uh, it's a good chance he may not. Uh, I don't know, and I'm not going to go further into that because I don't know the whole story. It's the only thing I did see last night, somebody had reached out to me and saying that it doesn't look good. They started to go fund me, and it actually, when you, you think about it and it started to go fund me, it starts putting life into perspective, guys, because uh, these balloon ladies who seem larger than life and these these people who maybe have a dark cloud for something, they're not, uh, you know, they're not. They're humans just like you and I, guys. And so they've been encouraging throughout. So I thought to myself, I'm going to make this video and hopefully people will go out there and, and reach out uh, whichever way that they can. Because guys, just like we like to hear the words of encouragement, when we, you know, those words of encouragement from strangers that we don't even know that say, man, uh, I'm so sorry, whatever and stuff. You know, reach out to uh, Balloon Lady Heather. Um, uh, you know, I have done so also. I'll put a link to the GoFundMe either in the description or into the comments down below. So if you guys want to uh, donate, that's really up to you guys and stuff. 
But that's where I'm going to finish it, guys. It's it just something that this is part of the Run Disney family. The You know, when you get to see these people, you get to know these people year uh, over the years. And I've been doing this for now 16 years, guys. Um, these are fantastic people. I My thoughts and prayers are with uh, Balloon Lady Heather and her family. And guys, uh, anybody who's going through a hard time right now, guys, I pray for you guys. Uh, I, I'm here. Uh, anything that you need, reach out to me, guys. But uh, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and say thank you very much for listening to this. I will come back with a regular video in a couple of days. I just didn't see how I could transition from this kind of news into into something that's, you know, a little bit different. So guys, but guys, you guys have a magical day and um, thank you very much for listening.